Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli back out here in the shop and we've got a good one for you today. And in today's shop video, we're going to be talking about my top four favorite baits for March. For March. Man, when I think of a month in the year that is the absolute best for bass fishing, March is at the top of my list. Um, March in different parts of the country mean different things. For a lot of our anglers north of the Mason-Dixon line, fish are still in their pre-spawn movement, right? They're still coming out of winter, moving toward the spawning grounds, getting closer to the spawning grounds, but they're not yet spawning. But south of the Mason-Dixon line, March means spawning fish. Fish that have moved shallow, fish that are crashing the bank, fish that are setting up on cover, shallower cover, and fish that are actually setting up on beds. So in my March selection, I'm going to give you four baits. I'm going to break them down by two in the north, two in the south, but keep in mind, these four baits will work anywhere during the March time period. All right, let's start in the north, and I'm going to tell you my number one lure in March in the north is a crankbait, specifically a shallow to medium diving crankbait. If I had to pick one, there it goes right there, a DT6. If I had to pick one color, it's going to be some kind of crawfish color, especially demon. The reason I love this bait in March is it's a search lure that catches them even when that water's still cold. A lot of parts of the country, north of the Mason-Dixon line, we're still talking about water that's in the low 50s to mid to upper 50s. That's still colder water. And that DT6 has a very tight vibration, a tight wobble. This DT6 also hits that pre-spawn target zone perfectly. Two to six foot, that four to six foot zone, lots and lots of fish staging before they spawn. And that's a great lure. Um, just a little tip, I always like to target transition banks that have a little drop to them, a 45 degree drop. Quarter cast those banks, make sure you're hitting the bottom on every cast. Lure number one for March, crankbait, DT6, crawfish color, can't beat it. Lure number two for March, especially in the North Country, right? Let's call it, you know, Virginia higher. Straight line across the country, Virginia higher. Um, I love the spinnerbait. I love the spinnerbait. And the great thing about a spinnerbait in March is bass are becoming very target oriented. Very target oriented. They're setting up on cover objects, okay? When it comes to a lure that you can fish successfully in and around and through cover, spinner baits at the top. Uh, if I had to pick one, I'm going to give you my best all around pre-spawn March spinner bait in the north, and it's a half ounce double Colorado chartreuse and white spinner bait. Half ounce chartreuse and white double Colorado. I like one silver, one gold. This is the spinner bait that will catch them anywhere. Uh, in March, I'm really looking at pieces of cover that are outside of the spawning areas, right? Staging banks, places just in front of where they're going to spawn, and I want to hit the cover. Weeds, docks, rocks, logs. I want to bump it with that spinnerbait, okay? Great march bait for fishing isolated cover. All right? Next two, now we're really going to switch to the south. Baits that are great in March, south of the Mason-Dixon line. Let's call it 
Virginia, North Carolina, South, Texas, Southern California. And these new next two baits are going to be plastics, soft plastics. Let me tell you, when fish are in any phase of the spawn, just before they get on beds, right? They're shallow, they're cruising. As they're making beds, right? And that's March. They're going to be up there. Nothing beats a soft plastic lure. If I had to pick one, a soft plastic stick bait. That one's actually rigged. A soft plastic stick bait is at the top of the list. Specifically, a five inch soft plastic stick bait. Uh, this is a Berkeley Power Bait General. Uh, the Maxent General's great, whatever brand you like, but a five inch soft plastic stick bait. The great thing in March about a stick bait is I can rig this so many ways depending on exactly where they're at. If I'm in South Carolina in March and they're staging around shallow brush and docks, I can skip that around there and wacky rig it. If I'm in Florida in March and the fish are spawning, I can Texas rig that same lure, throw it around the spawning beds and they'll eat it. There's something about that quiver on the fall and the subtle nature of it Texas rigged that will trigger shallow fish in March to bite it. So number three, soft plastic stick bait, especially down south. And last but not least, March is a time when I switch. I want to tell you this. I switch from that jig and chunk that I was fishing in February, when it was cold, January and February. I switch to straight plastic. And I love, love, love a creature or beaver style bait in March, especially in the South. And just like that soft stick bait, I can do a lot of things with, with that. I can Texas rig it on a light bullet weight for fishing around sparse cover, for fishing around bedding fish. Also, I can rig it with a heavy one ounce, ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half weight for punching around mats in March for staging fish. So that beaver style creature lure, by the way, this is a Berkeley Maxent creature hog. I love it in March. It replaces the jig as that water warms, especially in the South. Fish are getting near the spawn. They're just in front of it. They're actually spawning. I'd rather have a straight plastic, comes in and out of the cover really well. Uh, number four for me is a creature bait. So here they go. Tight wobble crankbait like a DT6 in a crawl color. Half ounce double Colorado white chartreuse spinner bait bumping the isolated cover. Soft stick bait, wacky rig, Texas rig, weightless, lightweight, around spawning areas, and pitching around that creature or beaver style bait for spawning fish or staging fish right in front of the spawn. That's a killer. Uh, they are my four top baits for March. Uh, give them a try. Depending on where you live, try one of those four. You're going to have some success. Do me a favor real quick before you leave. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. We've got great content coming every single week just for you. If you're already subscribed, tell your fishing friends about Mike Iaconelli Fishing on YouTube. We're here to help you become a better angler. Try those four baits. In March, you're going to catch more bass. Bye.